What's going on guys, it's your boy Crazy Spartan here, and as always before we get started off with the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel. Um, I kind of don't even know what to title this video, uh, to be honest with you, so I guess I'll just begin talking and figure out what the what the name of this video is going to be, to be honest with you. Um, I just want to say, before I get started off with the gameplay, um... I apologize. That's probably going to be the, the name of this video. Um, um, among those lines, okay? I have not uploaded to YouTube in about a week, okay? And with everything that's been going on in my life, with, um, you know, my brother passing away in August, with uh, me getting out of the military in November, and my my mom passing away in December I've I've been hit with multiple challenges along the way and you know um so I've just figured that YouTube would you know uh just uploading on YouTube and playing you know Call of Duty and everything like that uh would take away some of the the hurt and the heartbreak but sometimes it doesn't okay uh, that's a reason, you know, um, you know, that I don't play, you know, that's a reason I don't play Call of Duty Vanguard, because Vanguard is just not fun, okay? Um, that's the reason y'all only see Black Ops 3 gameplay on this channel, that's the reason y'all see Black Ops 4 gameplay on this channel, that's the reason why I stream Black Ops 3 Zombies, I will stream Cold War Zombies, I will not do anything with Vanguard, I have not touched Call of Duty Vanguard I think it's been about a month, a month and a half, and I've started to notice that I've been less stressed out lately. Other than the fact that my mom passed away in December, like I said, um, and trying to figure out everything with her funeral and everything like that, um, I haven't been as stressed out, okay? Um, but I've just lost all passion to go back on Call of Duty, um, especially Vanguard, to even try and grind that game out, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just bugs and glitches and skill-based matchmaking, and Call of Duty's not fun anymore, man, um, I, I just have no passion to play a game where you get punished for being good, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking tired of it, to be honest with you, I'm sorry for the language or whatnot, but, um, Call of Duty is just heading down a dark path, uh, I just realized today that the Mark of J, who I actually grew up watching, like, back on YouTube, like, years and years ago, he, he his channel doesn't exist anymore. He doesn't upload because of Call of Duty, because of the direction of Call of Duty. And a lot of my favorite YouTubers aren't even uploading the game anymore, which kind of sucks. But, um, you know, when you make shit games and, you know, when they're riddled with skill-based matchmaking and sweats 24-7 and, you know, not rewarding the player base, making unfinished games. This is the product of it all, okay? Your fan base is stressed out. They don't want to play your game anymore, and you, you begin to lose people, okay? Now, if you guys have been living under a rock, or if you guys haven't heard, which I'm pretty sure every one of, well, one of you has heard, but if you haven't, Microsoft acquired Activision Blizzard and every product under that umbrella for the measly price of $70 billion. Now, what does this mean for the Call of Duty franchise? Well, I hope it means better finished games, or more finished games, okay? Um, maybe they'll get rid of skill-based matchmaking because that was an Activision thing. Um, maybe Call of Duty will return to its former glory. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I, I don't know. I'll do a live stream on this sometime soon, uh, talking about the Activision, you know, uh, or Microsoft's acquisition of, you know, micro or uh, Call of Duty or Activision or whatever. Uh, but this doesn't take into effect until 2023, so that's next year for the next COD game. So we're gonna have to suffer under Activision's rule for another year, you guys. Um, you know, shout out to y'all Xbox players, y'all are gonna get some exclusive stuff on Call of Duty, um, but I, I feel like exclusivity shouldn't have even been a thing, but 
getting off topic here, I I just I I apologize to you guys. Okay, um, I have not had the passion to get on Call of Duty, um, you know Vanguard, and I couldn't tell you when. <laughs> Uh, ever since season one of the game dropped, the game has just gotten worse. Um, I would argue that the beta was a whole lot better than uh, season zero and season one or whatever. They, they, sh you know, I'll talk about like what I think about this new model of Call of Duty with the seasons and uh, free DLC and everything like that in a live stream. Um, so I hope you guys um, enjoy that, but. The whole point of this video was just me wanting to apologize to you guys. That's it. Um, you know, things have been slow around here on the channel, and I apologize, okay? Um, for one, like I said, um, I don't like Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, I don't want to play it. I have no reason to play it. I have no enjoyment playing the game. Um, you know, I, I feel like Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was the last really good Call of Duty game that was made, okay? Um, Modern Warfare 2019 sucked ass, Cold War sucked ass, and then Vanguard sucks ass, okay? Black Ops 4 was the last good Call of Duty made. You can sue me or whatever, but I'm here to tell you guys that it was the last good Call of Duty game made. Y'all could sit there and say, well, oh, they had supply drops and all oh, this and that. Listen, the game had no skill-based matchmaking. Little to no skill-based matchmaking. You could get on this game and have an absolute ball with your friends, okay? Can you say that about Modern Warfare 2019? No the hell you cannot. Can you say that about Cold War? No the hell you cannot. Can you say that about Vanguard? You especially cannot say that about Vanguard, okay? Anyone who says Call of Duty World War II Vanguard is fun, y'all had a tough childhood. I, I'm convinced, okay? But, I I just miss Call of Duty being fun, man. Maybe with, um, maybe with Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard and Bobby Kotick, that garden gnome looking idiot, the one who fucked up Call of Duty in the first place, you know, making all this good Activision money with all their stupid-ass skill-based matchmaking patents and all of their greedy microtransaction models. He's going to step down as Activision CEO next year. Thank freaking goodness, because we need to get him out of here, bro. Bob, Bobby Kotick is finished. Stick a fork in him and send him on his way. But... All this to say, I apologize for not uploading on the channel. I've just had no passion to play Call of Duty. Um, you know, that's just it. Okay, so I, I apologize to you guys. Hopefully we'll get back to a regular upload uh, schedule here on the channel soon. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful Black Ops 4 gameplay here. Uh, where you can see people, unlike Call of Duty World War II Vanguard and uh, Cold War. But uh, other than that, uh, 52 and 12 for this gameplay. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, y'all drop a like, y'all subscribe. Make sure your notifications are turned on so that way you don't miss a video when I upload. Uh, also, another reason why I didn't upload on the channel was because I had to get the Wi-Fi fixed. My dog got loose and went under the house and done some stuff with the cords. You know, I think she disconnected a cord from the power box or something like that. But, um, yeah, had to get that fixed too. But other than that, um, like I said, hopefully we can get back to a, a you know, a regularly uh, scheduled programming back here on the channel. But um, other than that, y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated, always have that mama mentality. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.